Black Wolf TV family, what's happening with it? Nothing but love my way, blessings, positivity. Look, I know y'all like, man, you really been talking a lot when it comes to Adrian Broner, the can man, the problem. Well, you can't blame me. Um, or you can, it's all good. But if you, you know, OGs of the channel, if you long-term family members, you know Adrian Broner is that guy, in my opinion. He's what really made me just love boxing. And y'all can criticize me as much as you want. See, see I, I, a lot of y'all probably be like, see, that's why I knew you don't know boxing. Ain't no way you really know boxing if Adrian Broner is one of the dudes who really made you love it. Fuck out of here, okay? Um, but that's just how I feel. So I'm going to be following his return to the ring, his comeback to the ring. Any video I can check out, uh, any footage of him training, I'm going to be reacting to it. I'm going to be talking about it because I think it's a blessing. It's a good thing to see Broner back in a good headspace, man. That man has had a hell of a career and a hell of a life. And um, I just want nothing but the best for the young brother. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, with that being put out there, let me ask this question right off the bat. Do you guys think Adrian, Bro excuse me, do you guys think Adrian Broner belongs back in the ring? And is it something you guys would be interested in? Do you want to see Adrian Broner make a comeback? And if, he does continue to, you know, go down the path that he is going down at this particular moment, um, gets himself in shape, is ready for a fight, gets booked a fight. Are y'all going to watch? Is y'all going to tune in? Or do you guys feel like, you know, saying he just fucked up so many times? I'm just not interested in anything he has to do. Or do you feel like, hey, man, I'm, 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 I've been there, done that. Every time I want Adrian Boner to fight differently or give me an entertaining fight in the last three to four years, he hasn't done that. So I'm not going to fit a buy into his hype. I'm done with the shits. I'm done with him. I'm done with you. Right. Let me know what you guys feel about that. But let's go ahead and get into this reaction video. Adrian Broner, he's talking about Spence versus Ugas. And then we have a little bit of footage when it comes to him currently training. Uh, so let's go ahead and react to all that and let's see how it's looking. And let's see if we agree with him. Let's go. <laughs> I, uh, I got love for you guys. But y'all know I'm going with my brother Earl, man. It's going to be a good fight, though. Oh, Earl coming through with that victory. By the way, another another reaction video. I'm not saying this is nothing new. I'm not trying to make it seem like, oh, back in the day, we'd always see him drunk and all that type of shit. But he looks he, he looks in good spirits, sober. He looks good. About billions of miles. About billions, baby. So here's the training footage. New training footage from our guy, A.B. How you think he's looking, man? He's still, y'all can see right there. He's working that off. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see that right there. You know what I'm saying? As a box, you can't have that little hang time right there, especially at his weight. So he's working that off. But he's back in the gym, baby. Yeah, yeah. He got that hang time, baby. Hold on. Let's see if we can get another view of that. Yeah, you can tell he got that hang time, baby. You always tell when an uh, uh, older guy – well, not older because I'm mean, AB's still young. He's only like 32 or whatever. But when you get into your later 20s, when you get into your early 30s, that hang time, boy – I'm like, you, you can see that off the bat. You can't just tuck your shirt in no more and look like the slimmest nigga in the room. You know what I'm saying? Because when you're a young nigga, you tuck the shirt in so you can show everybody how lean you is. You know what I'm saying? When you get older, you can see that hang time. You feel me? So he's going to have to work off that hang time in the belly area. But it's just good to see him back in the gym. It's good to see him doing that work, sweating, going hard, and doing what he can. You know what I'm saying? It's inspiring, though. That's inspiring to me. Like That makes me want to get, you know what I'm saying? Back into it heavy doing my thing, you know? Yeah. Why That's you it. got that cigarette on your ear? Because like you that. don't like when I smoke around you. I, I'm away <laughs> you play all day, dude. So when you gonna smoke it? When you go down there, I'm, I'm just smoking. Hit it twice, put it back out, put it back in my head. All right. Like AB's being a honey, and he's not even lying on those type of shit. AB, I know you never smoke. Well, I won't say that, but I, I don't remember. It's the first time I ever heard you smoking cigarettes, but man, put that shit down, please. Put the cigarettes down, but I ain't in no place to judge or nothing like that. Really, I'm just in a place where I just like to see the rehabilitation. I like to see this brother getting back into shape, putting himself in the right mindset. Like, even if he doesn't end up getting a fight, but he's just trying to, you know what I'm saying, change to the point where, you know what I'm saying, he's on the right trajectory. I ain't got nothing but love for it. I feel the same way about Big Baby. Like, look, we can criticize people all they want. But if you live this life and you understand how it goes, whether you're in the spotlight, you're not in the spotlight, you work a nine to five, you work a, 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 a independent job, you you know, you work for yourself, whatever the case may be, you're an athlete, whatever it is, like, it ain't easy. It ain't easy, especially for us, you know what I'm saying? Especially for, for niggas like me, you know what I'm saying? Adrian Broner, like, what we got to go through, I'm like, it's not easy. You're always going to have to go through something. You have to pick yourself up by the bootstraps. You have to figure out how to keep going. So, like, Adrian Broner is an inspiration to me. 
he was at the top, ended up being at the bottom when he was still at the top, had to find himself out of the bottom while being at the top, if that makes sense. And you can see now he's trying to find and figure it out and trying to get back into it. So I applaud you, brother. I applaud you. And I just want you to keep working, keep going toward what you're doing. And I hope to hear a fight announcement soon. Much love, respect. Let me know what you guys think about this video. If you disagree with me, I get it. Not too many Adrian Broner fans out there anymore. But uh, let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comments below. Like the video. Subscribe. Number love.